Hi, my beautiful Aquarius, and welcome to Arcana Priestess. All right, my loves, you guys have some very intense energy. First, I'm going to do a quick little introduction. I'm Arcana Priestess. If you are new, welcome. And if you are um, returning, I am so glad that to see you again, my loves. So we are going to take a look at the February energy. Just quickly before we start, I will be doing 50% off all readings for the month of February for Valentine's Day. So my um, link will be in the description box below. You can use the code LOVE for 50% off all the personal readings. Okay, let's get into this. So you have the Five of Swords and you have the Devil card. Somebody is, okay, so I have to, with this deck, um, I, some of the, you know, pictures I have to cover up a little bit. So that's why I'm not showing the Devil out card, but I can obviously show that it says the Devil. And so there's somebody here that is like praying for a second chance. Somebody who did you wrong, somebody who did you dirty, somebody who literally played you like a fool who wants you back, who can't, it's like they're praying, it's like they're praying to the gods. Like, they don't understand. The thing is, when you met this person, you might not have been at the most, like, you might not have been the most confident version of yourself, or there are just certain lessons that you still needed to learn. And so you allow this person to get away with certain things that in this moment in this current energy you would not you know you had to go through that rocky situation with this person in order to be who you are right now in order to be the best version of yourself that you're in in this current energy and so because of that this person had assumed oh if i got away with it once i can get away with it twice if i got away with it twice i can get away with it three times they took advantage of your kindness and at the end of the day every time you forgave them they loved you more and more and more and every time you forgave them, you started to love them less and less and less till now this person is madly in love with you and you couldn't give a rat's about them. So I'm not really sure why that came out. Um, I mean, I know like this person is gonna be reaching out to you. I feel like, you know, this person's gonna be reaching out to you. They're gonna be trying to contact you, trying to communicate with you. I'm hearing if you have this person blocked, unblock them. This isn't the main energy of the reading, but it was just like, as soon as I tapped into your energy when I was doing the pre-shuffle, like this just came like flooding out. So like, I'm literally picturing if you had blocked somebody, it's like the energy was like, you unblock them and you see like a thousand messages, yeah, right? Or like, um, you know what I'm actually seeing? Like in the movie, like Sex and the City, um, Carrie, like what happened she or the show like or the movie I can't remember but at one point like she had broken up with um I think it was big and she was like wondering if he would ever reach out whatever and then apparently yes he did he had sent her um a million emails but she never got them and then she finally looked at them and she was just like stunned now for a lot of you once you unblock this person you're not gonna be able to see the messages um, but for some of you, there are some hidden messages from this person. And so I feel like there there might be a little bit of closure that you still need from this individual. But I don't see, you know, all of you guys going back because it does seem like this person. Whatever they did, it doesn't matter how much they changed. It, it just doesn't. It's just like unacceptable. It's just unacceptable. And it would be a, it would be like you dissing yourself in order like for you to go back to this person, for you to go back to this energy. So know that there's temptation coming. There is temptation coming and it is going to come in a moment of weakness, but do not give in to that energy. So that's just the overall. Now I'm going to pull an Oracle card for you guys. And then we're going to take a look at what else you guys need to know for February. I made my own lemonade and I think I made it a little bit too, too lemony that time. Ooh. I'm trying not to have as much sugar, so, but like that needs a little bit more. All right, Aquarius, please show me the energy for Aquarius for February. Answer the call, what is your soul calling you to do? So for some of you, you are being called to answer this call. This person is showing that they're going to be calling you. Um, for others of you here, you are being called to answer unknown numbers as well as unrecognized numbers because you have an opportunity financially coming in here. But it is going to be either an unknown number or like a blocked number in a sense. So 
there is an opportunity that's coming in and so for some of you this is again there's this message that keeps coming in about messages that you haven't received so some of you you might need to check your drunk mail uh, others of you this could be like your dms whatever every platform that you possibly have even if it's a linkedin account from 10 years ago go on and check your messages because there's some opportunity that has just been sitting there waiting for you something that is going to be ultimately life-changing okay um and some of you guys this could just be a voicemail that you just haven't even checked right but i definitely feel like your soul your intuition is going to be guiding you I'm hearing all you have to do is sit there, look pretty and allow yourself to be guided. But what I'm hearing with looking pretty means like you have to look pretty, you have to look handsome, you have to look attractive. So with that being said, you have to be prepared for anything. Okay, everywhere you go, you need to make sure that you're looking your best, that you're feeling confident, right? A conversation with somebody is going to be different if you're not feeling confident. You're not really going to be looking at them. You're not really, you're going to be looking down. You're not really going to be like as enthusiastic. The eye contact isn't going to be there if you don't feel confident and comfortable within yourself, right? So making sure that you're looking good so that you can keep that eye contact so that you look confident and you feel confident. And the vibe can just, you know what I mean? Because for a lot of you, you're going to be meeting somebody new um, in your day-to-day -day life. And so you need to make sure that you are approachable you're approachable and usually when we don't look at and we don't feel good we just kind of like we're on our phone we're doing this we're doing that like we're not paying attention to if anybody's paying attention to us because we don't really want them to be paying attention to us in those moments so that is this is not the month for that my loves this is absolutely not the month for that all right so and then i'm also hearing you're being called to put your best foot forward at every single thing that you do you're being called to put your best foot forward in every single thing that you do. Yeah, because you have the Wheel of Fortune. Even the smallest thing that you would do that has no, ch that you feel, sorry, has no chance of succeeding, you could find success in during this month. This is good. This is going to be a lucky month for you. And not only just you, but the people that surround you during this period here. I'm getting strong energy of Sagittarius as well as fixed signs. So um, Aquarius, uh, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus. Those energies could be very strong with you. Um, you guys are gonna be experiencing very similar situations during this period of time. If you are in a relationship with one of those signs or you're seeing one of those signs, know that this is going to be a beautiful month filled with so much magic and the connection is just gonna deepen. You know, some of you guys have known this person for a very long time and you didn't think you could, there's anything else that you need to really know about them, but there's so much more. There's so much more depth that you're going to unravel when it comes to this connection. But just in general, I'm getting the energy of connections and how during the month of February, you're really going to be connecting with people on a whole different level. Like, again, there's something about your eyes or something about your eye contact. There's something about the way that you're just pulling in exactly what it is that you need, exactly what it is that you deserve um right when you need it right when you are meant to have it right when you're meant to experience it you are absolutely glowing in the most beautiful way ever and i think that um you know there's someone that's been watching you there's somebody that's been watching you there's somebody that's been keeping their eye on you some of you this is a secret admirer and this person is going to be revealing themselves to you very very soon but Somebody is just finding you very attractive. A lot of people are finding you very attractive, but there's somebody that's been watching you that has been, and again, like this isn't like creepy, like you have this person on social media or something, or you see them in your day-to-day -day life and they've just been noticing you, you know what I mean? Like they're not like a weirdo. Um, but like there's something that you're gonna do, something that you're gonna post, or the next time they see you, you're just gonna look so good that they're gonna have to say something. Like I'm like shaking, I'm like they are, this is a very confident person, this is so funny, it's like, for some of you, you literally have no idea that this person likes you. And like, because it's just like, I don't know, but they're just, diff they're different around you. They're different around you. They're not the way that they are with everybody else. Like you might find that people talk about this person like, oh yeah, they're so confident. They're so this or so that everybody loves them. They get all these guys, they get all these girls, whatever, you know, such a ladies man, whatever the case. And then this person comes around you and you're just like, where? You know, because why are they stumbling and why are they fumbling? Because like, I think it's like this person can't hold themselves together when they're around you because they're some, you're just stunned them. You stun them. And they, I don't think it's about worthy. I don't think that they feel like they're not worthy of you because I think that this person, even if they did at one point felt like that, like they would do whatever it took to like be worthy of you. I Because again, they are confident. They do have that confidence. But I think it's like they're just a little afraid of rejection. They're afraid of like, 
they've never been afraid to shoot their shot. They've never even thought before shooting they, their shot. They just do it, right? But when it comes to you, they overthink every little thing, every little scenario, because you keep this person on their toes. You keep them on their toes. So for a lot of you guys, um, you know, you just keep them on their toes in the form of like, you keep them guessing with your social media posts. But then for others of you, it's you have the same friend groups, or maybe you work with this person, or you know what I mean? It's like, maybe one day you come in with a friend who they think that somebody that you're dating and then you know they see you with just yourself for a couple of because I'm seeing like this could even be somebody that works at like a coffee shop or something like something in your area where you go to a lot here but um yeah this person is going to be revealing themselves to you and I just think it's going to be really cute and I think it's going to be really sweet some of you are going to be going on a first oh my gosh a first date with this person we have cosmic union it's a cosmic union, okay? Everything has been working. Everything has been happening in order for this union to come in, okay? I'm paying attention to those rings that I'm wearing. I wore them when I went to Greece. So for some of you, this could be somebody that's Greek. Um, but I just feel like this person is either like, you know, very, very dark or very, very tan or they're like very, very pale. I don't really feel like there's any in between. Um... And I feel like this is somebody who has dark hair as well. So, oh, I'm excited for you guys. I love this. All right, my love. So personal readings will be 50% off for February. Use the code love linked. Um, sorry, the link will be in the description box below. I hope you guys have a beautiful February and I'll see you guys soon. Take care my loves. Bye.